Hi and welcome. I'm John and this is Unique War Game Terrain. Guys, welcome back. For everyone that's new, this is a Let's Build video. Now, what are Let's Build videos and what they're about? Well, Let's Build videos, I take a model kit and I show you how to build it. Now, the reason I do this is some kits, as you can see in front of me, are very intimidating to look first look at. Um, some people suffer with dyslexia or are not, not too good with instructions. This is a visual way to help you. Sometimes the instructions are not that clear with certain aspects of the model. Again, this is to help you. So if I do it and I follow what the instructions say and I do it wrong, I can then show you where I've gone wrong and you can avoid that mistake. These, these videos are also aimed if you want to start a new army. I'm not sure about, you know, what, how the models build or is it what you want? Or there's a new model you think, oh, that's, that's a bit much. You know, I don't know what to do. It helps you out. Um... And for all my regulars here, guys, thank you very much for the love. I'll see you in a minute. Right, so today, today we are building the Brutalis Dreadnought. Okay, now before I get into the usual bits and pieces, I'll show you the stat line. Okay. It's actually not too bad stat line, really. I mean, his weapon skill is movement 10 to start off with, so he, he does shift across the battlefield. He's freeze to hit in combat, freeze to hit with shooting. That's not that great, but it's not too bad. But as you can see, the more wounds he takes, the, that drops down. Okay, so when he's on three to five wounds, that's what his stat line is. He's strength seven, regardless of what stat line. Toughness seven, regardless of what stat line. He starts on 13 wounds, it's not too bad. He has five attacks. This you pay for it eight and it's a free up armor save. Now he doesn't have an invulnerable save, unfortunately, but he does have duty eternal, which um subtracts each time an attack is allocated to this model, subtract one from the damage characteristic of that attack to a minimum of one. So that's quite handy. So if he's if he's been hit by something um and it's done two damage and he failed one of the saves, he'd only take one damage the two damage go down to one so it's not that's actually not too bad he explodes on a roll of a six when he's dead he's an angel of death which is sorry the last reflection off the book stop it he's an angel of death which is a, an amazing keyword because he comes equipped with two icarus iron hail heavy stubbers two heavy bolters two twin bolt rifles two brutalis fists now this is where it gets where it gets um well let me tell you the weaponry first. Heavy bolters are heavy free, we know that. And I can't remember if they fall under bolt discipline or not. If they do, then that'd be six shots. If they don't, it's still it's still six shots. It's still three shots, the strength five and minus one AP and two damage apiece. They're still quite tasty. Um but you can replace those heavy bolters with multi melters. Okay, that's where they, they go there at the front now. Um, but the multi melters are heavy too. Um, actually, sorry, no, even if he kept the heavy bolters and it wasn't, um, he didn't get bolt discipline from because they're heavy bolters, he still has two heavy bolters. So still, they're still heavy free. So still six shots from, from that. Um, the multi melters again is heavy too. So there'll still be two shots from that. But each time this model makes a weapon, uh, each time an attack is made with this weapon, targets a unit within half range. That attack has a damage characteristic of D6 plus 2. So it's D6 damage at normal, minus 4 AP. So you're not, things are not really going to stand too much any strength 8. So they're not going to really stand too much against that. Here's where it gets interesting though. Twin bolt rifles, rapid fire 2. He has two of them. So that will be four shots. But because of Angel of Death and Bolt of Discipline, Bolt of Discipline is a special skill inside uh, Angels of Death. Bolt of Discipline states they get rapid fire if they didn't move or if they're within half range and if there's, there's something else as well if they if they um tick the box of any of those three things they get to they get rapid fire so it's rapid fire two so normally rapid fire i think i think if you don't move you get to rapid fire but so they could move he can move and fire four shots but rapid fire makes it eight shots okay the icarus uh heavy rail stubber is for aircraft he still can shoot normally because heavy eight Heavy eight. That's actually 
dirty. <laughs> That's a really dirty 36 inch range. It's strength four, minus one AP, and one damage apiece. So you still can cause eight damage, you know, eight eight wounds um, a turn from it. Each time an attack is made with this weapon against an aircraft unit, add one to the attacker's hit roll. So, you know, it's designed to take out aircraft. It's heavy eight. It's disgusting. Now, here's where it gets confusing for me, because I love the Talons. I love them. But Tyler's Fist, it's a close combat weapon. It's times two strength, so it becomes strength 14, yeah? Minus three AP. And it's D3 plus 3 damage a piece. He has 5 attacks. So potentially that's a lot, a lot of damage you can do there with the normal fists. Um, but the Brutalis Talon, this, this is the one that I like. Each time an attack is made with this weapon, select one of the following profiles to make that to make an attack with that weapon. The strike profile is um, times 2 strength, so it'd be strength 14, minus 4 AP, and it's D3 plus 3 damage. He has five attacks. So potentially that could be five D3 times plus five. Uh, plus 15, sorry. So that could be absolutely dirty. Each time an attack is made with this weapon profile, you can re-roll the wound roll, which is absolutely disgusting. I'm not looking forward to facing this guy. Or he can do the sweep attack with it, um, which is the strength the same as the user, strength seven. It's minus three AP and it's one damage apiece, okay? Each time an attack is made with this weapon profile, make two hit rolls instead of one. So basically they'll put them on 10 attacks. Again, that's dirty. <laughs> now, here's where it gets complicated for me because it comes with heavy bolters, but you can change them for the multi melters, which is a no-brainer. I'll change them for multi melters because they're, you know, I like prefer multi melters on them. This model's brutalis, two brutalis fists and two twin bolt rifles can be replaced with the bolt tal uh, brutalis talons. So this is where the problem is. You can keep him with the fists and he has the bolt rifles as well, which is makes him a lot more shooty and a lot more dangerous. Or you can drop all those and take the Brutalis Talons, which have two different profiles of attack, but the both of them are really dirty. When I say dirty, I don't mean like covered in mud. I mean, it's really like, I don't want to face that. But that's the, that's the, that's the gist of that. Let me just quickly show you. Oh, sorry. Uh, where is he? He is an elite. And there's his points cost. Sorry, the camera flickering because of the light. In order of flickering lights, 170 points, and multi melter is 15 points. So he would be 200 points if you put multi melters on him. So that's that's the gist of that. Okay, so let's get let's get into business today. Oh, that means dropping everything. I'll be hands. Right. So, tools needed as usual. Mold line scraper. You can use a hobby knife or a surgical scalpel or some, you know, surgical blade type of thing. But if you're using a blade, be careful, guys. If there's people in the house, let them know you're using the blade so nobody scares you by accident and makes you hurt yourself. I have sanding sponge. I might have to get a new piece. There's still a bit of play on this one. Sanding sponge, which is basically sponge with sandpaper either side. Um, this is brilliant for getting into little bits. I can see that little bit there. They'd be brilliant for cleaning that. Um, and other little bits that you need to get into little neat grits, you can just do it. You'll get this in a hardware shop. I believe it's in the decorating section. And clippers, the most useful tool that we have. Now, it's a plastic kit. So I have plastic glue. I do have super glue. A hand just in case. My super glue has a rod with a little brush at the bottom because I prefer it like that rather than trying to squeeze out a bowl. Right, I'm very excited for this. I don't know if you can tell by my, my tone of my voice. I've been looking forward to this since it arrived uh, Saturday. Now, is it Saturday or last Saturday? I think it's this Saturday. I'm not sure. But anyway, um, if you're new channel, we have a look at the sprue first of all. And we what we do is we try and ascertain what things are so we can break the sprue down and make it a bit easier for ourselves but this is just an absolute holy smokes <laughs> well let's have a look at what we got here that looks like part of an arm so does that piece um i can see gun i can see heavy bolt i can see multi mower it's nice and easy there's more heavy bolters there there's, there's 
that looks like part of the chassis where the sarcophagus bit goes over the front there. The rest of it looks like a bit of a mystery to me at the moment. Now the other, other two sprues, there's the front of the chassis, I like that. There's one thing I do like about this model as well, there's so many different options, like, like with normal dreadnoughts, there's loads of different options, there's one front chassis, there's another one which is absolutely fantastic. I'll just show you the detail now, look at that, it's fantastic. And there's another one. Um, that looks like feet. I know that's the talons, but again at, the mo at this moment in time I'm not sure what I'm going to go with. When I get to that stage I may probably make a decision. But by the looks of them, the, the, he doesn't have the same sort of close combat weapon like the um, the Venerable Dreadnought has. It's like a giant fist. I like that. But I do like the talons as well. But anyway, there's not much I can ascertain from that at the moment just because it's, there is a lot. And this is why I do these videos. You, if you bought this kit, you're looking and go, oh, I can look at the instructions, but it's just confusing. And oh, I don't know. This is what this is why I do this to help you guys out. So I'm going to finish getting set up, locate the first couple of pieces, and come back and show you where they are. Um, we're going to call this sprue the small sprue because they look like arm pieces to me. No, they're not arm pieces, are they? No, they're not. I've just got the instructions to the side of me. Um, we're going to call this the talon. The talon sprue okay so both of this is going to call talons we're going to call that talon sprue so when i say that you'll know i'm referring to this sprue and we're going to call this the small sprue <laughs> i'm brilliant with my names aren't i anyway i'm going to finish getting set up and we'll start with the first few pieces right so on the small sprue we need two and three okay these these two pieces i thought they were arm pieces but they're not so I'm going to snip those off, clean those down, and I'll show you how they go together. Right, this is very straightforward. So there's holes there. There's little bits of stick out there. There's a slot in there. Now with this piece, you don't need to panic too much with mold lines. Okay, see there's a few little horrible ones there because this all get covered up. Okay, all you want to do is try and get rid of see those little bits there. Just try and get rid of those little sprue bits now you see i still need to get rid of that but um it's all getting covered up so there's no panic so i'm gonna glue those two pieces in and we're gonna come back then and see the next piece right so there we have that now it doesn't look proper square so i'm gonna get the other piece in there before it settles properly because i think that'll push it to where it needs to be alex has come in here and just was talking to me for a minute mm. And I was just showing him the rules for the Britannia Dreadnought. And he said to me, save myself a bit of pain in the backside. Don't worry about talons for now. Go with the normal power fists. Um, and then when it comes to the next one you have, then just put the talons on that one. But when I come to build the talons and build the fists, I'll show you, I'll show you the fists, but then I'll show you how the talons go as well. Anyway, the next piece we need is on the small screw, which is number six, which is this piece here. Has all wires hang off the side of it and everything else. So I'm going to snip that off, clean it down, and show you where it goes. Yeah, it's right to get this on because that isn't. That's not it's prop. It's properly, but it's not. You can't just slide that in. So you have to just push that in a little bit. But there's little holes there, little square bits, and there's little square bits in there. Yeah, that just slides in there like so. Okay, that glues on there, and so it goes. Yeah, so that's what I said. When you put this together, go straight into this piece next, clean it down, put it on again. It doesn't matter if you don't get all the lines, so look at that bit. It doesn't matter because that's going in there, you're not going to see it. So I'm going to glue that in place and then we'll come back for the next piece. Right, so the next piece is needed are number 17, which is this mad piece here, okay, and number 18 which is this mad piece here. So I'm going to sit these off, clean these down, and show you how they go together. Right, so this is very straightforward how this goes in. There's a little bit sticking out there. And there's a little hole there. 
literally just pops into there. Okay, so I'm going to glue them on. And don't worry about too much about casting lines on this one either, because this sits at the side, and there's bits that go underneath uh, over the top of it, so you only see the bottom part of this wire. So I'm going to glue those two bits on, and we'll come back and show you the next pieces are. Right, the next piece is needed. It's number thirteen, which is the same as the last one. For some reason, they have it on the other sprue, number fourteen. Okay, now they go together the exact same way. Um, obviously, this is the opposite way around. So just clean out. I'm going to slip those, clean those, glue those, and come back to you for the next piece. Right, so the first one I showed you of these. Okay, goes on this side of the, this side of the model. The other one, yeah, number. 13 and 14 is this one here, it goes on this side. So the way it goes is, you have the, this rigid wire stuff hanging out, and it literally just slots in that little gap there. Okay, so you'll have a bit hanging out of the back. Okay, so you do that one this side, the other one goes the same the other side, and I'll come back to you then for the next piece. So it looks like that. Okay. As you can see, there's little marks on top that doesn't matter because there's stuff that's going on there. So you get away with not having to really get into casting lines and anything else. And, well, you can get away with a few of them because there's not most of it's getting covered up. Right, so the next piece needed should be where are we? I just saw him a minute ago. Just lost him again. this piece here okay number 10 this bad boy piece here I'm gonna um, I'm gonna slip that out clean it down and there's two more pieces to go on to that which are only small pieces I'm gonna find those and show you where they are as well there's those pieces number 12 and number 16 okay so I'm going to slip those three pieces out, clean those down, and show you where all three of them go together, or how all three of them go together. Right. So if you're like me, you cut them off the, these two little pieces of the sprue and go, oh no, which way do they go? It's very straightforward. It's very, very straightforward because there is two little holes, little circle holes there. And you see there's two little grooves on that one and two little grooves on that one and they're totally different so this one if i flipped it over it's not going to sit on there so if i flip this one over there it's going to sit on there nicely yeah that's how they go so one goes that don't drop it you idiot one goes that side one goes that side and i need to find the other piece since then guys Right, do be careful with these little pieces. As you say, I'll just drop mine, but they are really annoying to glue. Uh, to clean, sorry, because there's a little, there's a little wispy bit on top that I need to sand down afterwards when it's dry. But there's, when you take them off the sprue, just be careful with, just make sure you go around with the clippers as well as, as the rod line scraper and your sanding sponge, and just make sure there's no bits of sprue to still attached to them. If there is, I had a little piece at the bottom here as I was trying to glue it in. A bit of plastic glue on it and it'll melt it away. But you don't want to be... You'd rather have a clean cut first of all. Now, where does this go? This, as you can see, there's these squares at the top here. Squares at the bottom. That slots in there. Does this slide in? If you want to slide in. They're supposed to slot in. <laughs> yeah, they do. They slot in there like that. They they then glue into there. They slot into there. So I'm going to glue that on. Come back and show you the next piece. Right, so the next part is the heavy bolters or the multi melters. You get an option. I think it comes with heavy bolters to start with, and then you can switch out for multi melters. Now. The multi melters and heavy bottles are both coming, each gun comes in two parts. So the first multi melter is 28, which is this one here, and 27. Why they split across two sprues, I don't know. That's the first two two parts of multi melter go together. The next two are 25 
and 26 okay now the heavy bolters are 23 and 24 so 23 this one here and 24 and the next one is 21 and 22 which are these two here so the heavy bolters are together but i don't know why the multi melters are separated across the two different sprues but i'm going to go with the multi melters so they're literally as you can see they literally just slot into each other okay nice and easy i think one has one has the hollow bit and one has the normal bit very easy very simple the same with multi melters that those go together nice and easy but i'm going to snip off the multi melters glue them together and we'll come back for the next piece there's the melt guns put together nice I might need to drop a little bit of plastic glue between there, just give it a little join line there. Um, apart from that, it's looking good. There's the other one. Now the next piece we need is 19 and 20. Okay, now 19, so 20, goes on this side. 19 goes the other side. So when I snip these off the sprue now, I'll snip them off and put one either side, clean one down, put it back there, clean the other one down, put it there so I know it's the correct side. But I'm going to snip, snip those off, clean those down and show you how the guns go into them. Now these are very simple to brew in. There is a little bar inside there, and there's a little bar there. That literally just slot lines up with that, so it goes square like that. Okay, so I'm going to glue that on to this one I'm going to glue the other one on and I'll come back and show you how they clip into the model itself right so the next part is telling me I don't need to use any glue okay that the little bit that sticks up and the little circle there that just slots in there yeah and it stays in place now I don't like don't like that I'm actually going to glue it into place but the instructions tells you you don't have to glue it. No glue required. But I'm going to glue it into place. I don't like things just sitting there. I like to have it properly. Because anyway, when I come to, when I spray it, that's going to clog that up anyway with spray. And it's going to see that there's one piece anyway. So I'm going to glue that into place. So yeah, that's where we're at. Now I've glued that in, as I said. But you don't have to. The instructions tells you not to, but I did. So I prefer it like that. The next piece is needed. This is where it starts getting a bit crazy now. I've just seen the pieces I need. This is on the big sprue. You need number five, which is this piece in the corner here, and number four, which is this piece in the opposite corner. Number four, yeah, is this side. Number five is this side. So I'm going to snip these off, clean these down, and I'll come back and show you how they go on. Now this is very, very straightforward. Those little grooves there, slot into those little grooves there so where the power pack went on there's a little bit sticking out that just slots in there like that okay that goes on there obviously that's meant to click on yeah just like that a bit that I missed there but the other side obviously does the same thing so I'm going to glue those on and then come back to you for the next piece right so normally at this stage we're, um, we're quite a good way into the model. I'm still on the first page of the instructions. That's how much is on this model. The next piece we need is number seven, which is this lovely piece right here. I absolutely love this piece. Absolutely fantastic. So I'm going to snip that off, snip that off clean that down, and we'll show you how it goes on. Right, this piece is very, very straightforward as well. There's a funny little shape on the inside, as you guessed it. There's just slots on there like that. Now I think that's amazing. This amazing sculpted piece that is. Now I'm going to glue it into place and come back and show you the next piece. And next one we need is number eight, which is this piece on top, number eight. It's a weird looking shape, with some lights and stuff on top of it. So I'm going to snip that off, clean that down. I'll show you how it goes on. Now this piece again is very straightforward. It just sits 
on the top there. Okay, let me drop it in. Just sits on top there. So this is lights and everything else. So I'm going to glue that into place. We'll come back for the next piece. Right, so the next part we need is number one, which is this piece here. Okay. Uh, number 36, with us see you again. I've lost you now. I'll come back to that one. Um, the next piece, the other piece that we need. I've lost you as well. No, I haven't. 33, which is this piece here. Number 36, only a little tiny piece. Where is he? My goodness, there he is. Yeah, number 36. So this one, this little bit here, and this piece. I'm going to slip them down, clean them down, and show you how they go together. Right, this is another one of those weird pieces that tells you you don't need super glue. I'm going to glue it because it looks silly worth super glue. So this piece, that's the little bit sticking above there, and two hooks. The hooks slot onto there, okay. Now this piece has two holes at the bottom. You've guessed that they go in there. And it's supposed to clip together like that. Now you turn it. Now be very careful because the bottom piece already dropped on the floor. It's meant to up like that. Now, that's not going to stay. It's only you don't need super glue for it. You need to, you know, that's the new glue, sorry. Of course you need glue. It's not going to stay. So you've got to take my fingers off, it's going to fall apart. So I'm going to glue that into place and then come back and show you the next part. Now, because I've opted to glue that in place, I'm going to show you where it goes quickly. It just slots, a little bit of it needs to slot into place. It slots in there like that. Okay. So it over, hangs over the top. I think that's pretty cool. But anyway, I'm going to glue that piece on because that's very fiddly days. <coughs> I'll come back to you for the second page we're going on to now. And I see now why it says no glue. Because this is meant to be open when you put the top piece on. The top piece is meant to slide over the top of it, but it should be fine the way it is now. Um, so the next pieces that are needed are... Where are we going? 31. I'm totally lost here at the moment. The reason I was lost because I couldn't find the wrong sprue. So we need number 29, which is this piece here. Now 29 is this side. We need number 31, which is this side. And number 9. Okay, so I'm going to snip those off, clean those down, and then show you how they go on. Right, this is very straightforward. There's these two little square bits there. They just slide into those two little holes, like so. Obviously the other side does the same thing, but the other way around. And this piece, this lovely piece, goes on top. Just slots. Slots, slots. They just slide in there. Slots in there. Like so. I think that would be has to go behind that. So I think I've done I'm not done it wrong, but I think that needs to go in there. I'm going to try and squeeze that in. Anyway, I'm going to go camera glue that on. Did I have that right? Yeah, because there's two little, there's two little bits there. There's two little bits there. So that's how it goes in. I'm going to glue this on and come back for the next part. Right, that is a tight fit. You literally got to put it in that end first. And then push it down. Okay, once that end's clipped in underneath that little bit there, okay, it just slots in place. Okay, it's a little, it's a little bit of mist there. Um, like I said before, another video is going to miss things like that. I can clean up as I go along. If it comes to the end, I go, oh, I missed up here. So it's sandy sponge and just go straight, just give it a little sand down. I'll take this torn, just give it a little sand down. 
Once once the water glue is dry and it's set as one piece of plastic, it doesn't matter. You can just work away on it. Or you can take a bit of plastic glue, just drop a little bit on there, and it'll melt it away. Right. Right, so the next piece, you've got to make a tough decision. Either take this amazing torso piece, or this amazing torso piece. I'm going to go for this one. So I'm going to snip it down, clean it down, and show you how it goes on. Well, I was panicking a little bit about this, but this is very simple. There's two gaps in there, one that side, and one just in there. And these two little bad boys, just slide in there, and it goes down. Yeah. Fantastic. So I'm going to glue that into place, and then we'll move on to the, the next piece. Okay, so the next parts needed are a bit more. Don't know why they keep putting two on this one, two on that one. But anyway, 113, which is this particular anti aircraft weapon. 114, which is this little tiny light here. Then we need 115, which is this other gun section. And 112, which is this piece next to it. So I'm going to slip them down, clean them down, and I'll show you how they go together. Right, so the little light, I just test this where it dry for it goes, and it goes in there. As you can see, look at look at the hard it is. It's very difficult to clean off and take off the sprue. It's all mangled underneath, but this is made less than underneath. So that's what it's going to look like. Um, but I'm actually just going to drop a bit of glue around the edge there because I dare not take that out. What I'm going to do is double bit of glue that side and that side just to clear up any damage with some plastic. Um, obviously these two guns, there's only one way they can go, they have the two little bits, and they, do they slide, yeah they do slide to each other, they slot, do they slot, they should slot, something's not quite right here, it's supposed to line up, let me just go and figure this out. Okay, they don't slot into each other, but that, those little, those circles there, yeah, they glue together. Okay, then what happens is, see these little squares on top? Underneath the top plate, with the little light on it, there is four little squares, two that side, two that side. They slot into there. There has to be a gap, because it's a little stand that it sits on. So it's aiming upwards, okay? I'm gonna glue those together and come back and we'll have a look at the stand. Right, so that's how it goes. Now the best way to do this is put the plate upside down, put the glue in the plate, and then glue one up, put the glue on a bit that joins them in between, and then put one gun in, and then put the other gun in, and it should slot, because they slot into little spaces nicely. But now we have that. No, so the, the, the flying, the little gun turret stand is number, not that one, 111. A weird looking piece. Of course, I'm not going to find this straight away. Right, so the instructions say you need C111, yeah? The sprue says 11. That's the piece you need. The sprue says 11. Okay, so obviously it's a misprint there. Should be 111. For example, oh yeah, but it might be C111. Well, the other one was C-113 for the gun, and 115 for the gun. And that was labelled up as C-115, 113, it zooms in. Yeah, so that's a misprint on that. So that's the piece I need. So I'm going to snip that off, clean it down, and I'll show you how it goes on. I must say with this kit, there's a sheer amount of pieces 
and you look at it and you go, oh. But when you start putting things together, they are they do go pretty together, pretty simple. I mean, you look at this and go, how am I going to go in there? That just slots in nicely. Yeah, so I'm going to glue that into place. That then slots into here. Top of his little nugget. Okay, so I'm going to glue the gun on and glue the whole thing onto that. We'll come back and we'll start looking at the next piece. Right, so onto the legs now. So the first piece we need is number 38, which is this piece here. And the other piece we need is number 37, which is this piece here. So I'm going to stiffen them down, clean them down, and show you how they go together. Right, it's very simple to go for together. There's two little holes, one there, one there. And there's two little bits that stick out there. They just slot into each other like that. You can see they line up perfectly. Now you might have to give it a little squeeze and just run a bit of glue around the edge there because it's horrible little line, join line. But this goes underneath the body. So there's nothing really to panic about too much. I'm going to glue that together and then come back and show you the next piece. Right, so the next pieces needed are 43, which is this crazy mad piece here. 44, which is this one here. And 45, which is this little t-bar here now there is the other ones for the other side but we're just going to do these ones first um this they're saying this doesn't need glue to go to go on so i'm going to snip them off clean them down and see how they fit together first of all before i decide if i'm going to glue them or not then i'll come back to you once i once i'm out of stage okay so one goes around that side this is the front of the model okay so this one goes around that side like that. The other one goes the other side. Before you do that, this little T-bar, that slots in there. And this slots over the top of both of them. Okay, and it does stay. It doesn't come up here, but that moves. So I am going to glue that into place because I've looked at the instructions and there's no big issue about gluing it on or not. It's just telling you not to so you can position the leg. Um, actually, I don't know. I don't know, should I or shall I? Um, no, I'm going to leave it for the minute like it the way it is. And then, because I think that would help position the leg so it's on the base properly. But anyway, I'm going to crack on and do the other piece. Show you the other pieces actually. The other pieces are where are we? Number 41, which is here, number 42, which is this one here. The other T bar, don't tell me it's somewhere crazy. I'll find the other T bar and come back to you guys. The other T bar is up here, number 45. Okay, so I'm going to snip those off, clean those down. They go the same way but on the other side. So the T-bar will be sticking out the other way. And I'll come back to you for the next pieces. And so the next pieces we need on the big sprue. We need 47, which is this piece here. 48, which is this piece here. And 49, which is this piece here. I'm going to stick them down, clean them down, and show you how they go together. And this is another straightforward piece. So this is the middle piece. Okay, so you the arm, it goes in there like that. So I'll play this at the back. And then this bit... Just slots over the top of it. Okay, so I'm going to glue those together and come back and show you the next pieces. And right, so the next pieces that we need are number 52, which is this crazy ass piece here, and number 46, which is this cog looking piece. I'm going to snip those off, clean those down, show you how they go. Yeah, for something that's so many pieces, so easy to build. This piece just literally slides in the front there. It's meant to be that way around, like so. And this piece, this piece just slots in there like that. So I'm going to glue those on and then we'll come back for the next piece. Right, so the next piece is needed for the other side, number 56, which is this piece up here. Um, number 58 this piece here and on the other sprue number 57 so I'm going to snip those off clean those down glue them together because they go the same way 
and then I'll show you where the next pieces are. Right, so there we have the same, yeah, you can see where we're at. So, yeah, now I need to get a big cog and the other piece. I'm going to find out where they are and show you where they go. Notice I've put this to this side because this is this goes on this leg. Okay, just in case they're too similar and you, they're difficult to, to tell the difference, that's the best way to do it. Have this one goes that side, have that one that side so you know what way it goes. I'm going to find the other pieces and show you, show you where they are. Okay, so on the back of the big sprue, 55 is this piece here, and 61 is this piece here. Now it goes on exactly the same as the first one I just showed you, so I'm going to clean those, clip those, clean those, glue those, and we'll come back for the feet. Right, so I, I was talking about doing the feet, and I'm not even that stage yet. So now we have the, this is the middle part. That, as you can see, there's a square in there. There's a square there. That's lost in there. And you see this little bit that goes in there okay that's why you don't that's why you don't glue these bits okay and the reason why is there's two different um feet combinations so you can either have it so it's like that or it's like that so it likes reflecting off the paper it's a bit weird yeah which brings me to the next piece. So you've got C64, which is one complete foot. So if you're going with this way, okay, this is how you put them on, look. So you like that. If, yeah, if you're going this way, it's different. But basically, C64, or well, this one, is on this side. Okay, this side of the model. But on the other, if you're going the other combination, it's on this side of the model. Okay, so it's a bit weird. But, um... I'm just going to glue it in and then get the feet done and glue the feet on and glue them to his base. So, just again, that slots in there, square to square, and it goes in there. Little, I'm going to glue that in, glue the other side in, and we'll come back and we'll start working on the feet then. Right, that's very difficult because it does not want to stay in place. And the way those legs are positioned now is anyway a take for me, but it looks slightly different from what the instructions are telling me. So what I'm going to do now, because there's plastic glue on there, so I've got some playtime, I'm going to take off the feet sections, glue them together, glue them on, and then glue them onto the base. So even if this glue inside the leg here is starting to set, I've got a little bit of play with it, so I could wiggle it so it sits on the base properly. So the pieces we need are 64, which is this big piece. Now I'm going to go 64 on this side of the, the foot. On this side of the foot 64 yeah we need uh where are we what's that piece going again 65 which is this piece here and there's 67 both of these little pieces okay so i'm going to snip those off clean those down glue those onto the feet and then glue them onto the base okay and we also need i've just realized let's go now 66 which is this piece it's on the small sprue this little piece here so this little piece is the same as the big the big toe on this one okay so i'm going to simply that clean it down put it together right so with this foot this is the little pieces the little piece clips on there it's a bit of glue on there there's a little lip that comes over it just literally just sits there now don't panic too much with uh casting lines and stuff like this on this piece these pieces because you're putting it on the base so with the base you can then um, put the gravel around it and everything else. The big piece goes on the same. It's like a little piece actually in the top there. And it just hooks on nice and easy. Okay. So I'm going to glue that into place. There's a little groove in the bottom there. Put that well. Hopefully it don't come off. So I'm Leave that a minute or so, and then I'm going to glue them into the base. Right, so that's gone on. But as you can see, it doesn't, it's not sitting properly. I need to wait for it to dry. But what I've, what I've done is I'll just run some glue along the edge of it. Okay, just to try and see it to the base a little bit more. But that is, literally has to be left to dry now. Now, the only thing is, the other thing as well, if the foot is slightly off, it's not a panic. Don't panic about anything because 
once it's on the base, as long as it takes the weight of the top half of it, which it will do because it's it's nice, easily balanced down, you can easily gravel, block, you know, all that sort of stuff. So I have to leave that to dry now. If I do anything else to that, there's panels to go onto it as well, but I don't want to be picking up and trying to do panels. So I'll have to leave that and come back to it. Right, so it's on the base now. And there's a little square, a little diamond in there. And that's on top of there. I've got to say to you when you're taking this apart and that don't snip that off. Because it just sits up on there. Yeah. Um, but the next piece, this is what we need now is all armor plating for the legs and everything else. But the first piece we're going to start with is C40. Or so I say 40, which is this piece. So I'm going to snip it off, clean it down, and show you how it goes on. Right, so this is the top piece. There's two holes on the back of them. There are two little bits to get. There's two holes in there. And that just slots on top like that. Okay, so I'm going to finish getting that little bit there. And then I'm going to glue that into place. Right, so the next two pieces we need is number 59 which is this piece here, yeah, and 50, which is this piece here. Now 50 goes on this side of the dreadnought, and 59 goes on this side. So I'm going to snip them off, clean them down, and put them on the sides, and I'll come back and show you where the next pieces are. Right, I'm actually going to glue these on now, but it's very straightforward. You know, one side has a little curve on it, and there's a little square inside. The square sits on there. Now, this meant to, this bit, the bottom here is meant to slot under, slot in behind the leg piece, but I sort of glued that on at the wrong angle. Yeah, so it's meant to slot in without dropping a clown. Right, let's try that again, because it's not my day today. It's meant to slot in behind like that. Yeah, obviously over a bit more, but, it's, but even there like that, to me that looks fine. It's not going to notice because a bit, there's another bit that goes over the top here. You're not going to really notice. So I'm going to glue those into place and I'll come back and show you the next piece. Right, so the next pieces are like ran discs. Okay, there's one of them, number 63. And the other one is on the other sprue, which is number 62, this one here. Okay, now they both go on this side. So I'm going to snip those off and show you how they go. Um, I'll snip and clean them and show you how they go. Right, so the bigger one, which is number 62, that slots here on the leg. Yeah, the smaller one, I'm not even going to attempt to pick it up, but it goes in there on that little, that little hug there. So I'm going to glue them into place and I'll come back and show you where the other two are to go the other side. There we go. Nice and easy. So the other two, again, this, I don't know why they put on different sprues, but it's number 54, which is a small one, that's his ankle joint one. And the other one, where is it now? I just saw it a minute ago. It's here, number 53. That's his knee joint one. So again, I'm gonna snip those off, clean those down and glue those on. I don't need to show you, because I've just showed you that on. So, as with true fashion, there's the ankle bit, the little circle that goes on the ankle. I dropped the other one below me somewhere. Now, it's not a big issue. I did have a look, couldn't find it. It's not a big issue because I'll crack on with this and then at the end, when I finished it and everything else, I'll pull everything out from under the desk and see if I can locate it. But that's the size of it. That small little, that small little disc there. But anyway. So the next piece is needed, number 39, which is this piece here, number uh, 51, which is this piece here, and then number, where is it, I saw it just a minute ago, number 60 is the next piece that's needed, where did I see that bad boy, I've lost him now, there he is. So this piece, 51, 60, and 39. Now 60 
goes on this side of him and 51 goes on that side so when I snip them off I'm going to put them on the correct side so I know I'm getting mixed up I'm going to snip these down clean these down and come back and show you where they go right this is very simple this one slots on like that okay so that little hole goes in that hole and it slots on like that now this plate here covers half it covers this top piece and the other half covers the bottom piece okay and it's the same the other side now this piece you see there's two grooves in there there's two grooves there that just slots on like so okay nice and easy so i'm going to glue those into place and come back and we'll start looking at the next pieces so this is the part <clears throat> i'm not looking forward to but this is the arms now so 70 is the first one we need which is down in this corner and then 71 is this devious little piece i'm going to snip them off clean them down and show you how they go and before i clean them down i'm going to show you this see this little bit on the end here that's actual sprue so because i said don't didn't fancy trying to snip that that little connection there see it's a little white line going between that thing there that's where it's tight to not very strong so i snipped it from the sprue so now what i need to do now there's no tension holding this on the sprue so all i gotta do is come in and do that it's nice and easy okay so i'm gonna clean this down and i'll come back and show you but i'll clean down i'll show you how it goes now it's very straightforward there's holes in that one just pins in that one just slots them to each other Okay, I'm going to clean those down and then glue that together and then I'll come back and show you the next piece. Right, so the next two pieces needed are 73, which is this weird looking thing, and 72, which is another one of these lovely little small pieces. So let's clip those off, clean those down, and I'll show you how they go together. Right, this is straightforward. So this one goes through there like so. Okay. Then there's a little square in there, and there's a little square there that pins into there. Oh, I need to drop that. Oh, that's squeaky, squeaky time. Now, you're not supposed to glue it, it's supposed to just pop in, so that gives it movement. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is get the what I'm going to do now is get the next two pieces, <coughs> um, show you where they are. Again, the next two pieces don't glue on, apparently. They just slot over the top. I'm not, I'm not too happy with the not gluing and just having movement on it. To me, it's a model, not an action toy. But I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to find those pieces and show you where they are. Right, they made it very easy. 74 and 75. Okay, so I'm going to snip those off, clean those down, and show you how they go onto that arm section. Right, so it's a bit confusing at first looking at it. But basically this top piece here has a little groove that slots into there then this one has the same groove and that slots in the top there and they go together okay so it's got free movement it's a bit bit mad but um i don't know it's just the way it goes anyway so that's that piece. I'm going to get the other two pieces. There's two more pieces that go on top with no glue, and this piece goes on the bottom with glue. So I'm going to get those three, find those three pieces, and show you where they are. Okay, so the pieces we need are 68, which is this round piece here. It's a weird looking piece. 69, which is the same, but the other go around it. And 76, which is this crazy ass piece. So I'm going to slip those up, clean those down, and show you how they go together. Now, I'm just running a little bit of glue along that line there because it was starting to fall apart on me. But the way these go together is, this one slots in this side. This one then slots in the other side. A little pin sticking through there goes through the hole in the middle. So it's not supposed to glue it. Okay, so, it's, so again it can move. Now, but I'm going to drop a little bit of glue just along that line where it joins on okay just so, so it doesn't keep falling apart on me as you can see that it comes apart very easy that's that and then this bad boy 
sits on the bottom here. So I'm going to glue him into place and glue that on and then I'm going to come back to you for the next pieces. Right, so that's the first time virtually completed. That's 14. Okay, that, that whole bit there, they ignored that, I clipped off a mistake. That is 14. So I'm going to put it that side. Doesn't mean it's for that side of the model, but the next one that I make is going to be 15. So 14, 15, nice and easy. Now it's the same thing again. I'm going to show you all the parts are, because it's not really... Uh, so we need 81 and 80. Okay, they go together the same way. Then you need um, 82 and 83. There's 83. 82 is another one of those small disc things up there. Goes together the same way. Then 85 and 84, which are next to each other. Again, goes together the same way. Then 78, 78 and 79, which are 78. And where's 79? Where is it? Nope. There's one here somewhere. So there's 78. Where are you now? There he is, 79. Okay. So this one, this one, this these two, this one, these two, this one. Okay. And then you need number 86, which is number one of those little round pieces, which is this one here. Okay, so these three, any mini, money, this lad, this one, these two, and him. They go together the same way this one does, and that's called 15. So 14, and I'll put 15 this side, and then move on to the next stage. Now, one thing I'm going to say with this, this top piece here. This one is 14. This should be around further, because I thought, what the hell's, how's this thing is going? Each one of these is three fingers and a thumb. Yeah. But that said, this piece itself, as I've seen in animation, spins. In the animation, I see the Blood Angel Dreadnought pick up, a, I think it was a cultist, and then this starts spinning around and he just explodes in his hand. So if they don't get it right, it doesn't really matter, but that's where it should be three fingers and a thumb. That's why I share that with you because I'm, I've sort of messed this one up a little bit. I couldn't try to turn, I tried to turn it and it won't turn, so I'll let you guys know. Right, so now we, have, now we have 14 and 15. Now, there are two options here. You can either go with the Platalis Claws, okay, which is the, they look like this afterwards, absolutely lovely, very nice looking. Or you've got the, the fists, that's what they look afterwards. I'm actually going to go with the fists because the fists give you the guns. So I'm going to go with the fists. I'm going to find the first few pieces and show you how they, where they are and how they go together. Right. I actually have to backtrack on myself a bit. I've missed two pieces out. Just realised it. Number 30. On here. On the small one. And number 32, which is the same piece again. Now they slot in here. 30 goes this side, and 32 goes that side, and they just slot into those little grooves there. It's the first piece that I've missed. The next pieces are these two pieces. Okay, and they slot over in those two little strip bits there at the back. I don't know why I missed those, instead of the big chunky blocks. I don't know why I missed those, so I'm going to clean those off, clip those, clean those, glue those, and put them onto the the body. Right, so the next two pieces we need are 96, which is this weird shape here, and 99, which is the same shape but just very, very, very weird. I'm going to sit those off and clean those down. Now there is a few little bits hanging off here and there, so just be careful. So I'll snip it from this part of the sprue and have a bit of sprue with it and just trim it down afterwards. Now these two pieces are very weird, but like most things, when they go together, they're going to look fantastic. Right, there's two small holes there, and there's two small holes there. They literally just slant to each other like that. Okay, so I'm going to glue them into place, and we'll come back for the next piece then. Now what we need is number 98, which is this crazy little piece here. 
I'm going to snip that, clean that, and I'll show you how it goes on. Now this is a dog fitted piece. Now on this piece you have this flat side, and you have this with a little semicircle on it. And this mad little piece has a circle on it, and it just slots into there. I think now I haven't finished cleaning this down, there's the little wispy bit on the side there. So I'm going to clean it down and glue that into place, I'll come back for the next two pieces. Right, the next two pieces are 97, which is the start of the gun, and 100, which is the other, the other half of the gun. I'm going to snip those, clean those, and show you how they go on. Now just be careful, because that's the front of the gun there, but you can see there's little, just be very careful on snipping it off. And this is very really straightforward, this part. There's two holes at the bottom there, two holes there. You can see that's got that funny shape, that's to be careful of. Oh my goodness me. We'll go with the other piece then. That just slots onto there. Okay. Now when I find the other piece, it goes the other side. The, on this side. But I'm going to find that, glue them on, and I come back to the next piece. Right, so after finding that piece. <laughs> that's what it looks like. Okay. Back up, sorry, that's the front of it. I was thinking, why does that look weird? That's the front of it. Now, next piece we need is 101. I'm going to snip it, clean it, and I'll show you where it goes. Right, again, this piece is very easy. So you've got the dome bit at the top. It just sits on there like that. Okay, so I'm going to glue that on. I'm going to come back for the next piece. Right, the next piece we need is 89, which is this piece here. So where I put that on, the this bit it may not even matter really because it doesn't look like it connects on in any sort of way it just sits in there so hopefully it's not going to matter but anyway I'm going to slip that off clean that down and I'll show you how it goes on yes yeah, grand nice and easy <laughs> it just slots over the top okay just like that way you can slide it that way it doesn't matter but this is this arm so I'm going to want it like that, with the thumb, the thumb being down the bottom here, because the thumb is a single one. So I'm going to glue that into place, and we'll come back and start looking at the fingers. Now before we go any further, this has to be glued on. So the little square in the middle sits onto there, like so. So I'm going to clean, I'm going to glue that into place, and we'll come back and we'll start looking at the fingers then. Right, so I'm going with the, not the talons, I'm going with the normal fist. But you need to be aware of this. There are some that are numbered 103, yeah, just like these guys here. There's a couple um, 104s, and there's a couple 102s. Okay, so the, the best way to do it is to look at what number you need, and set, set one, and set the next one, then set the next one, and then the fourth one, so then you, you're putting the first one in, then the second one, yeah, or take one off, clean it down, glue it in. Take the next one off, clean it down, glue it in. So the ones we need for this, for this, because this is now going to become 17. So it was 14, now it's going to become 17. 17 is the complete piece. 14 was just, this is 15, but this will become, um, this will become, uh, I should have number 17B. So the 17A, this will be 17B, but this is 15 at the moment. It's a little bit confusing, but I do apologise. So the, the first ones we need for this one, starting from here, and working our way around, is 103, 102, 104, and 104. Yeah? So I'm going to show you where they are. Where are we? So there's 103. It's there. There's two of them actually there. Then 102 is, where are you? Just looked at it a minute ago. Over here, 102. Then 104 here. There's actually one there as well. Makes it a bit easier. Then another 104. So I'm going to snip those off. Okay. Um, when I snip them off, I'm going to snip one off, clean it down, glue it on. Snip the next one off, clean it down, glue it on. And I'm going to come back to you and show you the next place. Right, 
there we go absolutely love it so now what I'm going to do I'm going to take I'm going to drop in here I'm going to take 15 and I'm going to show you the parts that I needed to do the same thing I'm not going to show you on camera because I've just shown you but what we need is let's find where these pieces are 93 okay and 90 which is this one here they're just the starting pieces that go together to make the, the weird little block then we need number 92 which is this one here which goes sandwiches between them which is a little light little target and light then we need number 94 which is this bad boy and number 91 which i believe is on the other sprue yep there it is top and bottom and then you have 95 which is this little piece that goes on the top to case in case it all and then it's just the, the fingers for the other hand is 103 which is say this one here then uh, 102 which is this one of these guys over here then 103 then a, the last 104 okay so i'm going to put that together off camera because i don't need to show you show you on camera because i've just done this one and i'll come back to you then for the next pieces and the next part is very simple so there's a little like, bits that hang out that on there and they same there now you're not meant to use glue here you're meant to just put it in and then you can bend the arm position it whichever way you want but i'm actually going to glue it now so when i have it in the position that i want i'm going to actually just drop some glue in there just to stop it from moving around and obviously i've got it where i want here so i'm going to drop a bit of glue in there stop that moving and then just drop a bit of glue into the joint there to stop it moving so i now have the top half of the precise dreadnought you can have these i just look like i like the look of that you can have the arm up you can have it sort of down there's there's a lot of posability with it now i was taking the, the piss out of it at the beginning saying i, I want to model not an action figure when i'm at this stage now i'm like actually that's that's pretty cool so you can actually move it into different positions i could have it this arm you know hanging right over to the side here i'm wanting to like as if he's getting to ready to swing his arm down and smash something that's that <coughs> the next two pieces are 77 and 87 there's 87 now 77 was here i actually snipped it off by accident when i was taking off the other piece so 77 goes this side and 87 goes this side as i've got this one up i'm going to show you what it how it goes on so literally that square goes onto there, just slides over the top. Now I'm going to have to clean this down because you can see there's bits on it. And then I'm going to glue them onto place. And I'll come back and show you the next piece. Right, so the next piece, that's absolutely fantastic, is to pin this in. I'm going to show you this earlier. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to drop some glue in there. Drop it around that seal because I think he's meant to slot into it. Now I'm going to take it and put it in. Wow. That is an amazing, an amazing piece. Now the last thing, there's only one more thing to do on this. I think that looks fantastic. I, when I, I, from looking at the camera, it looks great. But from where I'm looking, it just looks like... I'm coming to get you type type model but anyway um let me just show you the last pieces that i needed all of these purity seals okay there is looks like there's three of them two singles there's one single and a double there's a double and there's the other one there now i'm not going to put them on now but what it's saying is you put them on the chest here listen you can put them hanging off the arms. That's where I'm probably going to have two one side and double one the other side. 
um, you can have them on top, you can have them hanging off the back, you hang off the, off the off the belly here. Put them on there wherever you want. You can even hang, probably have them hanging on the inside here, of the arm. You know, wherever you want to put them, just where you put them. It doesn't say they're optional. It says I oh, put them here, put them there. Put them where you want for yourselves. I'm not putting them on right now because I've just glued the body on. Um, and they're not, not fucking, they're not like the, the, the I need to get them on so I need to show you where to go. No, they, you, you can put them wherever you want. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching. It's taken longer than I wanted to get this bad boy built. Um, so if you're not subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel because it costs you absolutely nothing. And it helps the channel in a massive, massive way. And turn your notifications on so you don't miss any videos that I do. And for everyone else that's supporting me for all this time, guys, so much love for you guys. Thank you very much. I'm going to bring down show you some free pictures now, guys. But until next time, take it easy.